Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. Well, it was once the epicenter of U.S. steel production, a city with state-of-the-art architecture, cutting-edge entertainment, a growing population, and bustling economy. It was once dubbed the city of the century. Gary's fortunes, though, plummeted with the deterioration of the steel industry in the 70s. The city lost tens of thousands of residents. Decades, the economy really decayed, and infrastructure made national headlines. But there are signs of a comeback in the city known for steel mills and the Jackson 5, including an investment that could mean 2,000 jobs. And I'm pleased to welcome to the show Gary Mayor Jerome Prince with the tales. Mayor Prince, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Gary. Glad to be here. I want to talk about some of those challenges in a minute, but more and more people are giving Gary a second look. Uh, Alliance Steel uh, moving its uh, headquarters, a steel operation from Illinois to Gary, $120 million investment, uh, well over 100 jobs there. And the big announcement from Acumen, the 5G phone manufacturer, saying they want to put their headquarters and manufacturing operation, the potential for 2,000 jobs in Gary as well. These are big deals uh, that have come to the city. Yeah, without question. And so, uh, again, it's an exciting time for me as a new mayor, you know, outside of all the challenges with the pandemic that myself and practically every other mayor across the country has faced, uh, there are promising signs that uh, people are taking a second look at Gary and we're doing everything uh, from our side or on our part to make it more attractive and more uh conducive to people wanting to uh, locate here. Yeah. As you look at, I mentioned those two uh, big deals, but additionally, uh, the Hard Rock Casino, a $400 billion project uh, expected to open uh, at some point this spring. There have been improvements to Gary Chicago International Airport, which have been a long time coming uh, as well. What is happening? There seems to be a bit of momentum in Gary now with some of these big deals. Why are these things happening now in your view? So I think there are a couple of reasons. Uh, one would be our proximity to the Chicagoland metropolitan area and uh, the ability to uh, commute readily, easily, you know, between the two. Uh, secondly is uh, our overall geographic footprint. I mean, we have rail lines. We uh, obviously have an airport uh, that's here and, and uh, about seven miles of lakefront, which is extremely attractive uh, to persons who are looking for opportunities to uh, reside in a community that has those amenities that we just spoke of, but at a fraction of the price that they probably would realize in the uh, greater metropolitan area. Yeah, as mentioned before, Gary has had some big challenges uh, for decades now, losing population, uh, a lot of negative uh, attention, uh, unfortunately. Do you sense that, that changing? Is that a hurdle that still, still needs to be overcome? Or do you sense that these positive, these economic development deals, maybe you're getting more buy-in from the community now to create a little bit more economic momentum? Yeah, so, um, you know, optimistically, I'd love to say the latter is absolutely true. I do know uh, because we've seen the evidence of it in the form of people actually relocating here uh, from a residential perspective, but also the interest that we've seen in companies wanting to locate or relocate here. And so while uh, a number of the challenges that you mentioned still exist, we believe that people are taking a second serious look at the city. And again, uh, I believe it's incumbent upon this administration and everyone, uh, city buy-in, if you will, to make that as attractive as we possibly can. You know, w w when you mention uh, Acumen, for instance, um, you know, just the fact that a company uh, like of the likes of Acumen would uh, want to develop the first smart technology, nanotechnology within the city and not necessarily look for incentives, which is typically the case as well, uh, bodes extremely well for the city. And we believe that if you get a couple successes like that, uh, you also mentioned Hard Rock Casino. Um, you know, just the increase in traffic to that industry because of its proximity to the highway and being able to actually be seen from there, we yeah. believe is going to bring more and more people into the city. Uh, but uh, 
on the larger note in terms of challenges, yeah, uh, one of the things that we need to do is to redefine what we've known for in our industry. And we believe that we can do so uh, chasing or at least uh, pursuing technology uh, initiatives such as Acumen. Yeah, I know a big push uh, on your part as well in getting people to live uh, in Gary as part of that broader effort in Northwest Indiana, the double tracking project on the South Shore generational project up there. So a lot of things going on in Northwest Indiana and in particular in Gary and Mayor Jerome Prince. Really appreciate you taking the time to be on the show this week. We look forward to uh, having you on again sometime soon. I'd love to. Thank you, Gary, and All enjoy right. the rest of your day as well. Very good.